Yin Li and Welt might just be the safest combo in Star Rail history, and the reasoning is as follows. Number one, since Welt has not only imprisoned delay but also debuffs on his ultimate, it's going to allow for a very ample amount of time for Yun Li to get multiple actions, Ting Yun to get multiple actions, build up energy, so whenever we want to unleash a counter, it's always a maximum into it cull. Now, for reasoning number two, when you actually put Asta into the team as well, it allows for some crazy discrepancies between the enemy's action and yours, making it so we can get sometimes between 8 and 12 actions in between just one enemy going, and that's going to be crazy for not only achieving maximum uptime on all of our buffs, debuffs, but also the energy, of course, for those max counters. Now, for number 3, the taunt value of Yunli is so crazy that you can direct all of the single target damage right to her and then heal it all back with her skill. Since the healing of her skill is based off the attack value, you're going to be able to get some crazy heals, especially since we've got Asta and Ting Yun in the team, buffing her attack like crazy. You're going to see how if we can heal 50 to 60% of our HP with the skill of a DPS which is dealing damage, then the sustainability of the team kind of skyrockets, and the results are pretty crazy. Anyways, Let's get right into the run, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and let's see Yunli and Welt in action. Now I've only played with Yunli for one day, mainly because I've had no creator early access. However, the results have been insane, I must say. I mean, I have been enjoying it, specifically the interactability of this character like no other, because thinking about what enemies are doing and what kind of attack they're using, when to use ultimates, how to specifically, like, order your turns, is something that is very beneficial for Yun Li, and is something that puts her in one of the, like, the top categories for DPSs that I find fun to play. Now, here, we're gonna see that we pop the ult from Welt, making sure that not only we can delay, but we can break that right enemy in particular, and it's gonna allow for a ton of actions to build up a ton of skill points and a lot of energy in specific. Now, we don't want to take any damage from that right dot guy, so hopefully we can kill him before he even moves. And we're going to pop the ult now, get our counter ready, and because the first attack from Guardian Shadow was a hit, we're going to smash him in the face. Perfect. So, we're going to go ahead and build up more skill points, build up more energy. We don't want to get hit, so we'll just basic. And then we're going to go ahead and use the ultimate and skill, forcing us to get attacked. And that's going to launch a massive nuke right at her face. Or his face. I'm not sure what the Guardian Shadow identifies as, but soon it's going to identify as dead. Because, one more basic, we're going to go ahead and use the ult, giving enough energy to Yun Li, because we do need one more counter just to finish things off. The 16% Death Shred from Resolution on Welt, plus the 10 or 12% vulnerability from his ultimate, is quite nice for a character that is doing a um, pretty much a sustaining job. Couple of hits here. It took a little bit of damage from Welt, that is quite disrespectful, I must, I must say, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and ult, get some more skills, or speed, and then go ahead and ult on Welt, delaying Argenti, giving us a pretty amazing amount of time just to make sure that we can build up the energy for Yun Li, build up our buffs, make sure we're ready to launch some uh, relatively strong sword attacks. From 1700 to 3500 HP, that is a crazy amount of healing. I mean, what's going on? We're back at, we're back at max. No healer, no shielder. Well, took that thousand damage, it's pissing me off a little bit, but... What can you do? Anyways, time to set the counter. Argenti is going to stab one of our characters. And a parry. Sekiro style, back in his face. Bang. Okay. Now the bounces from Asta are nice for the, uh, the toughness damage. Don't need it there though. And 3800 HP, you know, she's back at max. Back at max HP. We prefer not to uh, slow Argenti too much, that's why we didn't use it at first, but now we're going to go ahead and use it so we can build up the ultimate. And he effect resed, unfortunately, the Imprison, which does suck a little bit, so we will have to take some damage, which I'm not a fan of, but should be fine. That's a ton of single target damage since all the swords were dead and we unleashed a lot of skills that attacked and follow-ups, which is the, all of the buffs in this MOC buff. Yeah, three out of four of our character skills deal damage, plus the follow-ups, which is crazy. We're almost at max energy with Yun Li. We will be getting to max right here. 
and we can go ahead and dismantle this shield with Ting Yun and get our counter ready. Why don't we counter again? Let's just parry both attacks. Fuck you, Argenti. Jesus. And let's delay him once again. And then you know what? Maybe we should slow him down a little bit. Eh, he's already slowed, but we can speed ourselves up. Whee! A skill. Some okay damage there. Now we just need to wait for Argent Argenti's turn to come up. We do want to make sure not to break him. Shouldn't be a problem, though. It's been three cycles so far. It took one for the first and two for this one. If we can clean up Argenti with this next Intuit Cole. It's over. Now, for the builds, Yunli was 98 speed, which means attack boots at max damage on Valorius and the Duran set. Now, the ramp up time for this set in particular does kind of suck, especially if you do not have another follow up character. However, Yunli actually does, you know, send out a good amount of follow up, so you can hit that 5 early and get that 25% crit damage. Now, for Ting Yun, she was uh, very fast, Ting Yun, like always, on Dance, Dance, Dance. Rainbow sets max speed and on Von Wack because Von Wack is the best only two piece set to be using on Ting Yun. Now, Memories of the Past on Asta makes it so we can get some maximum uptime on the ult if we want to with two skills. However, we can also just skill and basic, basic, whatever we want to. Now, for the four piece, Wind Von Wack has suddenly turned into my staples for every single support because I've finally farmed enough wind sets. Just an insane synergy between Eagle and Von Wack, and they should probably be going on every single support character regardless of if another one is even like remotely similar. It's just so unbelievably good. Now, for Welt, he was the same. 150 speed on Resolution. Resolution is amazing. And also on the Von Wack Eagle. Now, I do have his E6 because I've lost more than half of my standard characters. All to Welt. Uh, 2 and 6, though, are what's going to affect his energy gain because we built him for no damage, which is what everybody should be doing if you're building a support Welt. Just purely going for speed and effect hit rate is all you need. Just forget about damage altogether. That's all we had for this run. I've got to say, Yunli is insanely fun just a amazing character to play to have fun with to use in battles that are not auto because an auto yun leap probably sounds like like hell anyways thanks for watching once again make sure you guys put your ideas into the comments what you guys thought about the run any future suggestions any future yun Li teams because i'm going to be going through a lot of them in the upcoming weeks thanks for watching adios